everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to make a quick video today on how I get my Invisalign trays off of my teeth. If you saw my first video, you probably know that I really struggled to get my Invisalign off my teeth my first few days of having it. I have a lot of buttons on the top and the bottom, and so my Invisalign trays really cling to my teeth. They don't like to come off. But over the past few weeks of having them, I have kind of developed a system on how to get them out pretty quickly and pretty easily without any pain. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. If you just got your Invisalign and you have a lot of buttons and you're struggling to get your Invisalign out, do not panic. It's going to be okay. It'll get better. You'll get used to it and the pain will subside. I promise. Okay. For me, I think the top trays are easier. So I'm going to start with those. The first thing you're going to want to do is start in the back and start in the inside of the trays. So back here and I don't have long fingernails. So you definitely don't need long fingernails to be able to do this, but I just go in and I kind of gradually ease them off of my teeth. And then I slowly little by little work my way up to the front. Now, as you start to get up to the front, if you've got a lot of buttons, it's going to start to feel like you can't get them off. But if you pull forward just a little bit, that kind of releases the buttons. So I'll show you what I mean. All right, so they're off. Ooh. If anyone's grossed out by saliva, I apologize about that, but it's just part of it, man. Um, <laughs> so that was pretty easy, not too bad at all. Like I said, I just started from the back, gradually worked forward, and then I just kind of like pulled them forward as I got um, closer to the front of my teeth. Okay, the bottom ones are a little bit harder for me, but still not too bad. So still, I'm gonna start from the back inside and kind of pop off the back of the Invisalign trays. And then as I work forward, I'm gonna pull the trays out a little bit. That has been the key for me. Now you don't want to pull so hard that it damages your trays or bends them, but you just want to pull out a little bit because that kind of releases these buttons up here. So let's do it. All right, it's off. Uh, I'm pulling out. And there you have it. So it's so easy for me now to get these things off. Now, when I look back at my first video and watch myself struggling, it feels so silly, but I guess, like I said, it just takes some getting used to. The longer you have your Invisalign, the more you'll develop your own sort of system for how to get them out and what feels best and easiest for you. But I do have two things that I would recommend for everyone, or I should say that I would not recommend <laughs> for everyone. So one, I would not recommend pulling your Invisalign out from one side and like ripping across your teeth. You definitely want to start on both sides and gradually work them off of your teeth. If you start from one side and pull, you could hurt your teeth, but also damage your Invisalign and bend it. And you definitely don't want to do that. The other thing I would not recommend is starting from the front of your teeth. Again, I think this could depend on your situation and how many buttons you have, if you have any at all. But for me, if I try to start at the front of my teeth, it really puts a lot of pressure on the buttons and it makes it kind of feel like they're going to pop off. So from what I've seen and from my own experience, starting from the back tends to work the best. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to any of you out there who are struggling with this. Um, like I said, I promise it gets better and yeah, good luck.